Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. Frankly, Kim Jong Gensler, the supreme leader and dictator over at the SEC, is screwed. Nobody likes that guy, to be honest. Like, nobody likes that damn guy. <laughs> and yes, fine. I'm heavily biased against him because he's just been wrecking people's financial well being, especially people in the world of crypto and specifically in our XRP community unquestionably. And, you know, just wait to see some of the stuff I'm covering here. And I'm happy to report this because things are not going to go well for him in, in all likelihood. Uh, I don't know what he's going to do next. I mean, look at this headline from the Crypto Basic. Ripple CLO, chief legal officer, outlines reasons why Gary Ginzer can't get a job outside SEC. So I've got perspective from him. I've got perspective from uh, two Fox business journalists. That would be Charles Gasparino and Eleanor Terrett. And also a comment from attorney John Deaton here. But suffice it to say, um, especially depending on what happens uh, you know, with the, uh, the 2024 election in the United States, uh, there could be an administrative shakeup, let's say. But before going further, I do want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. Ripple CLO thinks it would be difficult for Gary Gensler to get a job outside the SEC given the negative reputation the securities regulator has built for himself over the years. In a tweet today, Stuart Aldrati, Ripple's chief legal officer, slammed SEC chair Gary Gensler following his remarks during a recent interview. Oh, yes, he absolutely shredded him. And it's it's just, it's delightful to see. I, I take great joy in seeing comments like this uh, against Ginzer and specifically from pretty much anyone at Ripple, but especially Stuart Aldrady, since he's their top in-house legal guy. Because, my God, Ripple was under attack, just like XRP holders were under attack for years. I mean, frankly, their lawsuit's not even over yet, so they're still dealing with all these pricks. But I love seeing the pushback. Oh my God, I do. I genuinely do. It brings a smile to my face because the, the people over at the SEC, specifically Kim jong Gens, are absolute monsters. Anyway, peace continues. For context, Fox Business journalist Eleanor Terrett shared an excerpt from Ginzer's recent interview where he revealed plans to continue as Wall Street's top regulator should President Joe Biden win a second term in November 2024. And folks, this is disgusting. Check this out. During the interview... Gensler noted that he loves the job, adding that the SEC boss gives him, uh, being the SEC boss, gives him the opportunity to, quote, do something for the greater good and the greater community, end quote. That's right. So, folks, he loves doing what he's doing. He loves crushing your financial well-being out there. He loves crushing your dreams and your hope and making your net worth much, much smaller. He loves doing this. He's protecting you. Oh, my God. <laughs> He has to know that that's not what he's actually doing, right? We, you know, we can speculate all day. And we, I, like, I've speculated. We've all speculated about why he's doing what he's doing. There's, there's a theory that he's hoping to get a better position within the Biden administration. Um, but, but, again, it's just speculation. But he has to know he's not actually helping people. He's actually harming people. He has to know that, right? Because, you know, his views in terms of, you know, what the SEC should do, it was like a 180 from when he was speaking publicly about what uh, what the SEC should do back in like 2018, 2019, before he became SEC chair versus when he became uh, the, per the person that's running the damn organization. Be because I, he said that, look, you know, we're going to have to figure out there's got to be a path forward. SEC needs to provide clarity specifically for Ripple. He even was talking about Ripple. It's, it's, it's like, I, I don't believe that he's saying a truthful damn thing here. Anyway, peace continues. Expectedly... Gensler's desire to continue his job as SEC chair stirred reactions from the crypto community, with Ripple CLO also commenting on the development. And so here's what actually happened. I don't need to read the whole article, but these, these are the highlights here. So there was this post from Eleanor Terrett, Fox Business Journalist, and she wrote the following. Yesterday, uh, as, as she wrote, wrote this yesterday. SEC chair Gary Gensler said Wednesday he absolutely plans to stay on as Wall Street's top regulator should President Joe Biden win a second term in November. I love this job, Gensler said in an interview from his office at the SEC's headquarters in Washington. 
Now, that was reposted by Stuart Alderati, uh, Ripple's chief legal officer, and here's what he wrote. Who else would hire him? He's politically toxic. He's a serial loser in the courts. His staff has been caught lying to judges. His agency's Twitter account was hacked in the most embarrassing way. And his sponsor at MIT quit because of close Epstein ties. Did I miss anything? And for, that is the most recent <laughs> terrible thing that happened with the, uh, the, the SEC account X, formerly Twitter, getting, uh, getting compromised, getting, uh, getting hacked because they didn't have 2FA enabled. <laughs> what a bunch of damn idiots. All these people are tools. It's just astonishing. And, and all the while, they're preaching publicly, well, you got to be uh, very careful when it comes to your internet security. Uh -huh. And then they don't even have a freaking 2FA. What a bunch of asshat pricks. But uh, I, I will say, Stuart Alderite, that's a good list, and you are right. But when you ask, did you miss anything? Yes, I would like to highlight something. Do you remember this one? Here's a headline from Reuters from October 31st, 2022. Senate Republicans want the SEC to explain why staff are quitting. And so, folks, it's not just you and I that despise Kim jong Ginzer because he has been wrecking our financial well-being. No, 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 no. It's not just us. The staff hate him. The staff have been leaving literally for years now. And it's not over, Max. So that was from 2022. Check out this literally this afternoon from Fox Business journalist Charles Gasparino. Scoop. SEC bracing for major exodus among senior enforcement lawyers in its crypto assets and cyber unit according to officials at major law firms who have seen several of the resumes. So folks, let's pause to think about this. Why might that be happening? Why might the senior enforcement lawyers at the SEC be leaving right now? The, 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 the crypto-related ones? Why would they be leaving right now? Might it be because of this loss after loss after loss on the SEC because they have bogus nonsense arguments that judges thought were complete BS? Maybe that's why. And they don't want to be associated with this. And under the ridiculous rule of Kim jong Ginsler, might that have something to do with it? And then Gasparino says, Fox Business is withholding names to protect privacy. The move suggests that the bleed of senior staff under Gensler's controversial leadership of the agency isn't letting up. Folks, nobody likes this guy. He's very unlikable. I don't think he has friends. Honestly, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have friends. In fact, if, if he were in middle school right now, he, he, he'd, go to, uh, he'd go to the cafe. He's, he's getting his lunch. He's in line. He pays. He's holding his tray. He's got his, his mac and cheese and his chicken nuggets, maybe a little apple juice. And he's holding his tray and he's looking around and there's a bunch of kids at various tables. But he starts shaking because he doesn't have anywhere to sit because he doesn't have any damn friends because he's an unlikable prick. And he has to go sit in the hallway. Little bitch. And then there's this from Attorney John Deaton. He reposted what Jack Gasparino said. And he said, I can say with certainty there will be no job offer coming from the Deaton law firm despite the fact that I'm hiring. You see... Unfortunately, for SEC enforcement lawyers, the Deaton Law Firm requires one to always maintain a faithful allegiance to the law. Plus, we have a zero-tolerance policy for intentionally lying to judges just to win a motion. Spot on. So, so think about this. So then the question is, okay, what will happen with Ginsburg? Because he's not going to be in this position forever, obviously. Well, look at this headline. What will happen to SEC Chair Gary Gensler if Trump enters the White House? Now, folks, I'm not going to get into a bunch of politics because this is not a political channel, as I've said many times. I only tackle politics insofar as it has something specifically to do with the world of crypto and or finance, broadly speaking. Other than that, I don't care if you're on the left, if you're on the right. That's not the, it's not the purpose of this channel to get into that crap. So you're all OK in my book. We can be friends when it comes to crypto and XRP. Cool. All right, cool. Uh, but I will say this. Uh... One of the quickest ways, perhaps, to get rid of Gensler would be if there is a change in administration. You may recall that uh, when Biden was elected, but before he had actually been sworn in as president, uh, the, the previous SEC chair, uh, that lizard person, what's his name? That little prick, uh, Jay Clayton. Uh, he quit December 22nd. That was his last full day, of course, the day he sued Ripple. We, that's why we remember that day, right? And he quit because there was a change in administration. In fact, the lawsuit against Ripple, highly unlikely that it would have dropped that particular day. It's just that that was the last opportunity he had to do it since he was leaving. And he, again, he was leaving because the administration was changing, which is kind of normal practice. So regardless of what you want to happen within this election, which would be far outside the scope of this video or this channel, frankly, I will just say if there is a change, Ginsler's likely gone. 
and that would be delightful. Now, I'm not confident that uh, Trump would be particularly friendly to crypto, but my God, it was way worse under Biden. We'd all agree under that. Right? Like, that's just, that just, it just is. Like, it's very clearly true that things have been far worse under under Biden, just from the top on down in this administration. So, uh, you know, if that shifts, uh, I don't think it's going to be all like, puppies and rainbows and sunshine and ice cream and all that crap, but it'd be closer to that. And then this little Mr. Burns lookalike would be gone at least, right? Because he'd probably just quit. I don't know for sure, but uh, let's just say that uh, there's a reason, there's a reason Jay Clayton, there's a reason this happens, folks. It's, it's if, 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 if an administration comes in that's not friendly uh, to, to your side, maybe you don't want to deal with that anymore, Right? <laughs> I'm just saying, I just, I, I, there's a reasonable chance that we're not going to have to be putting up with this guy much longer. I don't know what he's going to do. I frankly don't give a damn. This guy is awful. He is, he has harmed so many people and so many people in our community. I just, I, I will give zero FOX if, if he has a, if he has a sad time after this. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Lambo.